So we're back here already. The whale squad just been announced. Pretty much more of the same as Gatlin tries to build some continuity. But there is some new players and there is some recalls for some older players who've had caps in the past. So I'll read it out and then we'll have a chat about it. So starting with the forwards, we've got Nicky Smith, Gareth Thomas, Kemsey Mathias, Ryan Elias, Dewey Lake, who's the captain, called that one, Evan Lloyd, and then Kieran Azarati, Archie Griffin, Henry Thomas round up the front row. The second rows are Adam Beard, Ben Carter, Will Rowlands, Freddie Thomas of Gloucester gets a call up. Chris Chinza is like the in-between. And then the back row is James Botham, Jack Morgan, Tame Plumtree, Tommy Raphael and Aaron Wainwright. A couple of players might have lost out in that back row that maybe deserved it. We'll have a chat. Then going on to the backs, we've got Ellis Bevan, Thomas Williams and Rodri Williams gets a recall to the squad. And I think he's deserved that. He's been drag one of Dragon's best players over the last couple of years. The outside halves, you've got Gareth Anscombe and Sam Costello. And then Ben Thomas is like that 10, 12, covering in between. I guess you might see him as a 10, we don't know. The centres are Eddie James, Max Llewellyn comes back in, Nick Tompkins, Owen Watkin, Mason Grady. And then the back three is Rio Dyer, Josh Hathaway, Blair Murray gets called up, also called that one before the season started. Tom Rogers and Cam Winnett. There's a lot of familiar faces there, what you'd expect pretty much. A little bit disappointing. There's a couple of players that have missed out. I don't understand how Shane Lewis Hughes is not in this squad, uh, especially when you consider both of them's barely played for the start of the season. I guess we'll go we'll go through the talking points. Nicky Smith, interesting to see him come back in considering he doesn't play in Wales anymore. He's moved to Leicester. Seems like Gatlin has been hesitant to use him, um, but he's brought him in. No Corey Domachowski, so not sure what's happened there. Matthias keeps his position in the squad, probably deserves it. I've criticised him heavily in the past, but he's definitely improved so far this season, um, and he's really cut down on those penalties. I'm, I, I don't know if he managed the whole game, but, it, but in the Bulls game, he hadn't been penalised all season, so... Going from the most penalised player in the league to not being penalised over the first few games and, you know, imp noticeable improvements. Well done, Matthias. You've uh, really improved and shown people like me up who haven't got a clue what they're on about. Uh, then the hookers are pretty much what we were expecting, but obviously Derry Lake is captain. A lot of people were saying Jack Morgan potentially. Um, I thought he would go with Lake. I just think he's uh, more comfortable in front of the media and stuff like that. Gives Jack Morgan the opportunity to just worry about his own game. He's also, Morgan is also the captain of the Ospreys, so maybe not, he didn't want to give them him captaincy over two places, uh, perhaps. The second rows, Freddie Thomas gets a call up from Gloucester. A lot of chat about him. I must admit, I haven't seen a lot of him, but there's a lot of chat about him that Welsh teams are chasing him for next year, particularly the Dragons and Cardiff. So it'll be interesting if he gets an opportunity to play and we'll see how he goes. But Gatland obviously wanted him in amongst the squad. Chunzer had a really good summer so at second row. So I wonder where he's going to feel like he's going to use him. Will he get in with Beard and potentially Rollins? I'm not sure. The back row then. Both of them is the biggest surprise to me. But Jack Morgan, great to see him back. Plumtree, no supply, surprise. Rafael, no surprise. Aaron Wainwright, having not played a single minute all season so far coming into the squad apparently he wanted to play for the dragons last week and they didn't let him whether it was the dragons or wales um they didn't let him they want him to be fully fit for wales so there's that the backs rodri williams is possibly the big surprise there no reuben morgan williams who's had a decent start to the season obviously no kieran hardy but I think uh, Rod Williams certainly deserves this call-up. Um, he's been really one of the, the outstanding players for Dragons over the last few years and at the start of this season. And then where do they see Ben Thomas? Is he going to play him solely at 10? Is he going to play him in the centre? Not too sure. No Dan Edwards is someone I would have liked to have seen in the squad, i uh, said in a previous video. But I'm not really surprised to not see him in there because he's still very young and still clearly got a lot to learn. The centres then, 
is going to be an interesting battle in the centres because if we just assume Thomas is going to be a 10, just to make it easier, you've got the choice between like James and Flewellyn, Watkins and Tompkins, and I assume Grady is seen as a centre, even though he's played predominantly on the wing this season for Cardiff. Is he going to try Grady at 12 again? I don't see that particularly. It was a clearly a failed experiment. And when you see you've got the two big ball carriers of Flewellyn and James in there, um, I don't think you need to force Grady into that position. Tompkins, I'm a little bit surprised to see him retaining his spot maybe more he just wants him around the squad with his experience potentially um i think johnny williams has played well enough to have deserved maybe tompkins's spot this year although i must say i don't know how tompkins is playing uh particularly in the premiership because i haven't seen a lot of the premiership this year and then the back three hathaway comes back in glad to see him getting another opportunity tom rogers i wouldn't say i'm surprised he obviously scored that excellent try on the weekend and his finishing was really good. But his discipline has just gone so bad over the last like year or two. Um, he seems to get a lot of cards. So, I mean, he looks like he's going to be the cover for fullback as Cam when it is the only other fullback. But obviously Blair Murray is going to be the big talking point. He has been excellent for the Scarlets this season. Very clinical once he's got near the try line in the opportunities he's got. He's got that left foot kicking option and he's versatile can play across the back three um so there is some excitement in there there's also a lot of familiar faces but i guess gatlin needs to start building continuity i found it a little bit interesting that we didn't see more younger players i i think we could have seen an, an aaron owen in there um in the center because i think he's been excellent he's playing the best rugby he's played uh of his career so far i think he can count himself a little unlucky to not get in the the team interesting i was reading gatlin's comments prior and he was saying he's not going to just pick a squad of like experienced players that he thinks have got the best chance to get him a victory to take the pressure off himself he was going to pick the young guys that they'd identified and develop them for the, the best thing for welsh rugby but it seems like he's largely, with an exception of a few, gone back to his sort of bread and butter, the likes of Tompkins, Watkin, and the, the the likes of them. But, I mean, I don't want to be overcritical. He needs to build continuity. And I guess this is going to be the way. The regions have started to do... I'm excited because uh, for this block because the regions have actually not been... I know it sounds like quite negative, but have not been as bad as I was expecting this season. They've actually been a lot more competitive in games, mostly, than they were this time last year over the first block of games. They've actually picked up points and wins, and you've seen some development, and you've seen these young guys that took lumps last year actually start to develop. So I'm really hopeful that going into this autumn series, we can turn the corner um, and start getting some wins, because obviously we're about to break the record for most losses in a row which is not a record you want to break um but there was some green shoots of progress and some potential in the summer that we saw um so i'm hopeful that there's a bit more confidence coming from the players coming from the regions now going into this um block also you've got the bonus that we haven't had over the last uh, season of the the solid uh, halfback combination now it's going to be surely Thomas Williams and Gareth Hanscom and just having that level of experience and ability to bring other players in and improve the team as a whole that could be a key key part of getting some wins in this autumn series um but outside of that, I haven't really got much else to say, so let me know what you think in the comments. I'll catch you on the next one.